humor to your baby? Well, that all depends. If you didn't want to get pregnant, you're not feeling very humorful towards your baby. And this is where self-talk to your baby really matters. If you're contemplating having a termination, or if you're worried that you're going to miscarry, then talk to this child. You know, there's a big political debate about whether women should have contraception or be permitted to terminate a pregnancy. There is no woman who doesn't understand fully that when we choose to terminate a pregnancy, that this is a baby. We know that. And when we lose babies, we know that. And when we lose a newborn or have a stillbirth, we grieve. When we lose a five-year-old, we grieve more. When we lose a 12-year-old or a 24-year-old, we grieve even more because we've gotten to know that human being. Now, when you are pregnant between conception and 12 weeks, because you don't always feel well and you don't always feel humorful or lighthearted, you can explain this to your child and teach your child how you deal with these challenges. It's really important. Did anyone teach you? Or did they just show you that when they were grumpy or sick, that they felt that they could consume all the oxygen in the room and make everybody around them feel miserable? Don't do that. Instead, help your baby to understand even your worst thoughts. Sometimes it's dry humor or wry humor, or sometimes it's sick jokes, or sometimes it's just being sarcastic or satirical or ironic or any of the other words that explain of how you can convert a really unpleasant experience into something that teaches your child that you'll get through it because you will get through it.